Inside Science. Osteoarthritis occurs when the articular cartilage or the cartilage that lines the joint becomes worn away and then the bones start to press against each other. That causes a lot of pain. Overall, arthritis tends to decrease your range of motion and then it also decreases your ability to apply a force or strength within your hand and your fingers. So things that it affects for people are the ability to grab a glass, to zip a zipper, to tie their shoes, to grab a doorknob and rotate it, or to grab a key and rotate it. Some research has reported that the thumb is involved in more than 50% of your upper arm extremity movements. So when you lose the function of the thumb, you could lose the ability to do half of the things you would normally do. So our research was to do a couple different things. One is that we really wanted to look at osteoarthritis in the thumb or the base of the thumb, this joint right down here. And we wanted to see how people with arthritis had difficulty moving. When you go to a clinical setting, typically they measure your range of motion using something called a goniometer. And it's limited in that it can only measure movements in a plane and only statically. So your finger is positioned in a position and then they place the object on two of the digits and get an angle. We wanted to look at more complex motions, so kind of looking at motions in multiple degrees. We have a set of cameras and they have infrared light sources around each of the lens. And we use these reflective markers. They're very, very small and we place them on the hand. And then as the person moves in the space and they move their hands in front of the cameras, the cameras pick up those markers. We can look at multiple joints at the same time, as well as calculating and doing many other different types of calculations. We can not only measure the movement of the finger, but as the finger applies force to the system, we can see what angle it's at when it applies this force. When we looked at the individuals with arthritis, we found that they had a reduction in their range of motion in more complex tasks. We found that those more complex tasks were affected earlier or prior to a significant loss in range of motion in those static areas. We thought we would see more of these problematic zones down here at the base of the thumb. And maybe those are the key digits that we should be looking at. Now that we know from this data that we are seeing a significant change in these complex tasks prior to the more standard clinically tested things, we would like to be able to implement that more broadly so that we can identify people with osteoarthritis early and start implementing more conservative care things like general stretching exercises, strengthening exercises, and there's things called joint protection. So basically teaching them how to use their hands appropriately so that they don't load the joints and cause more damage. Personally, it was, I was very surprised how rewarding I found the research to be. I knew I was very excited about doing it, but it was extremely rewarding to have the participants come back and say, you know, I couldn't do this before and now I can and this is great. So those are going to be our next two paths that we're going to go down with this research, as well as device development for rehabilitation. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.